Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar we'll then run through the weather warnings as we do have a thunderstorm warning in force this afternoon and evening we'll look at various computer models look at the potential for storms over the course of this afternoon and evening some of them are showing some quite intense thunderstorms in the east uh, especially and then we'll have a look at the mid to longer range look at the GFS and the ensembles as it does look like we're turning back towards average for the next few days still quite warm in the east still some rigid residual warmth there um, and it does look like perhaps towards the weekend and start of next week we could be seeing a resurgence of the heat we could be going back towards heat wave conditions nothing as hot as we have had recently but we could see in temperatures getting back into the low 30s for some especially in central southern and eastern areas so remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you do start on the live radar, you can see it is still pretty dry in most places. But those temperatures are much cooler today, around 15 degrees cooler today than it was this time. Yes, as I'm recording this, around half to 3 p.m. Of course, yesterday we saw those temperatures top out at 40 Point three degrees in a few areas up towards Lincolnshire we saw that peak but many areas got into those low 40 point numbers um, and we saw around 30 to 40 different weather stations official weather stations that is break the all-time temperature record or the previous temperature record of 38.7 degrees so unprecedented heat yesterday but it has had has now all flooded away in towards Germany. You can see Germany is going to be extremely hot today. We'll have a look at those temperature maps in a second. And behind it, we're in fresher air, but much more unstable. And you can see a lot of thunderstorms breaking out across France, and those will likely break out across England over the course of the next few hours, probably as this is being released, those thunderstorms really starting to get going. Now, we did see some thunderstorms last night in the far southeast, across the East Anglia as well. That cold front that did, did spread through. Some were saying it was going to fizzle out completely, but it did produce some heavier pulse of rain and some thundery weather in the far southeast. Some areas saw nothing. Others areas saw a few millimetres of rain and some frequent lightning. So it was very hit and miss, and it is going to be like that again this afternoon. And into the evening, you can see there is one heavy uh, shower could call it thunderstorm cell. I don't know if there is lightning within this detected yet towards Gloucester, which is looking uh, quite intense but small. Um, elsewhere, nothing really going on yet. Some shower activity. We'll just have to see how it does develop over the coming hours. And if you have a look at these two meter temperatures, you can see still warm, residual warm and heat in the far east towards Norwich, still potentially touching on 30 degrees uh, around 3, 4 p.m. this afternoon. But you can generally see we're in cooler air mass and you can see this much cooler air again still very warm air but cooler than we have towards germany and poland hungary look at these pinks that's mid to high 30s touching on 40 degrees that hot air was over the top of the uk uh, yesterday giving us us those ridiculous temperatures but it's being swept away now we're back towards these oranges and reds which is mid to high 20s and that's how we're going to continue over the next few days more towards average for many areas maybe slightly above average still in the south and the east potentially turning much hotter towards the weekend after a look at the weather warnings we do have a yellow thunderstorm warning put in force it was put in force yesterday and it has been updated to extend further northwards so it's not downgrading the thunderstorm risk at all but we're not as i saw by the live radar we're not seeing too much at all at the moment and we're a couple hours into the warning but it is a 10 hour warning from midday today until 10 pm this evening so by the time this is released we'll still have a good six to eight hours of that thunderstorm warning left um so we'll just have to see really what happens with this risk this evening. If you do look at the further details, heavy showers and thunderstorms are expected to develop across central, southern and eastern parts of England on Wednesday afternoon, whilst many places will only see relatively small amounts of rain, some slow moving torrential downpours are possible. Where these occur, 20 to 30 millimetres is possible in an hour, and a few spots could see 50 millimetres in three hours. Lightning will be an additional hazard, most likely over southern England. So again, high impact, low likelihood because it's very difficult to pinpoint the position of these storms. But they are from East Anglia through central southern England all the way towards parts of southeast Wales through east and west Midlands up towards 
northeast England as well. So a big thunderstorm area, not all areas here are going to be seeing significant storms, but there are going to be a lot of showers around, so hopefully a lot of areas are going to see some much needed rainfall. So if we do now have a look at the UK V, we do run through, you can see as I'm recording this around 2, 2 3 p.m. It does have quite a few showers breaking out, some thunderstorms there as well. So slightly behind in reality, we have got well, that cell towards Gloucester, but I'm not seeing much else to be honest at the moment. So interesting to see how it does develop, but by around 5, 6, 7 p.m. it does turn into larger areas of showers and storms. For around 8, 9, 10 p.m. they do fizzle out. So I definitely do think there are going to be showers and storms around, but their severity and exactly where they do break out will be uncertain. Just because at the moment, the UK V is showing a lot of activity. We're not seeing a lot in reality. But as we'll see with the other models, they're all on board with heavy showers and thunderstorm risk. Uh, and the UK Met Office run has a yellow warning in force. So I do think they are just delayed at the moment. They're just not quite breaking out. But they will all of a sudden at some point in the next hour or two. By the time you're recording this, we could see some severe storms breaking out. Uh, so as, as time you're watching this, we could see severe storms breaking out. So we'll just have to see exactly what happens with that. Over the course of the evening, those showers and storms will leak off the southeast and you can see tomorrow afternoon it is pretty dry a few showers here or there a bit of cloud around but it's going to be a pleasant day in around the low to maybe mid 20s back towards more pleasant nice conditions as we head towards friday you can see those temp uh, those precipitation does pick up some heavy thundery showers in the south in the e uh, and the west sorry some more persistent rain potentially across the midlands northern england through the afternoon but elsewhere it's looking dry with some patchy clouds and as we head towards saturday some heavy maybe thundery rain moving into the west and the north some quite dark well, some quite light bright colors here in, 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 indicating severely heavy rain um so i have to see exactly what happens with this could be a, a big widespread torrential uh, bouts of rains could be some thunderstorms embedded within this through saturday afternoon into the evening it does continue into sunday but the far southeast still gets spared these are areas in the southeast towards london kent east anglia we are where we are really low on rainfall for the past few weeks past month really not seeing a lot of rain on this other than potentially hit and miss showers and storms today and over the next couple of days unfortunately now if you have a look at the air masses you can see we are much cooler in terms of air masses at the moment and we'll be cooling down even more so by friday thursday afternoon you can see back towards seven eight degrees at 850 hpa average conditions with temperatures in the low 20s but as we head towards Sunday, Monday, as I said, we could see a resurgence of heat. We're back towards the mid-teens, maybe high teens at 850 HPA in the southeast, indicative of temperatures into the low 30s, and that could be returning through the weekend. Again, it's a few days away, so we can't exactly, well, it's about five days away, but we can't say, say exactly what those peak temperatures will be, but it looks highly likely we'll be get, getting back into the 30s for a couple of days, so hitting heat wave conditions once again. So if you do look at the two meter temperatures this afternoon you can see temperatures peaking perhaps in 30 degrees towards that norwich area elsewhere low to mid 20s as we head towards the uh, as we head towards thursday afternoon you can see we'll be seeing uh seeing temperatures back into the low 20s maybe 23 24 degrees widely so much more pleasant conditions as we head towards friday you can see those temperatures are looking a lot better in and around the low 20s once again some areas though with the precipitation a little bit cooler so much more pleasant for thursday and friday before those temperatures start to rise again on saturday mid to high 20s possible for quite a few and by sunday as i said back to the high 20s widely low 30s across london kent east anglia 30 31 maybe 32 or 30 degree two degrees is possible there so turning potentially much much hotter so if we do go over to uh, let's just see, we'll have a look at the WRF run, looking at the thunderstorm risk over the course of this evening. Uh, as you can see at the moment, as I'm recording this around 2pm, we've got a bit of cape taking off, but nothing too substantial, for it does start to turn a little bit more widespread it, towards East Anglia, South East England, and that's through sort of 3pm to 6pm. So that's where we could see the biggest storm development before they do fizzle away in the evening. As I said, um, with the... 
UKV run, we are seeing quite a lot of activity, and you can see around 5, 6 p.m., widespread heavy shower, thundery activity from this WRF run as that instability progresses eastwards. So bizarre at the moment, we're not seeing hardly any activity on the live radar. And as I said, by the time you're watching this, we could see a lot of activity. We, uh, it'll be a very weird situation if we do get to this evening and nothing really comes off at all. It'd be very bizarre if we see that because all the models are showing at least a heavy shower risk quite widely. So yeah, we'll have to see how it does play out. If you do go to the RPEG and have a look at the precipitation from this run, you can see around 2 p.m. Nothing too much going on. It's a bit more uh, indicative of the live radar. You can see there that heavy uh, area of precipitation around Gloucester. So getting that pretty accurate from the RPEG. And by 5, 6, 7 p.m., more widespread shower risk across East and Halfton, quite intense around 8, 9 p.m. in a few spots for fizzling away. So RPEG definitely going for heavy shower risk and a little bit more delayed than the other runs. So perhaps that's what uh, has modeled this a little bit better. So we'll have to see exactly how that does fare. And if you have a look at the DWD icon, you can see around midday, nothing too much. 3 p.m. starting to take off. And by around 6 p.m., heavy showers, those yellows breaking out across the East Anglia, the East Midlands, down towards Central Southern and Eastern England. So heavy, thundery rain breaking out around 8, 9 p.m. Peaking at it's around 8, 9 p.m. So all the models we've had, all four short-range models, high resolution models we've looked at, have all got heavy, thundery showers around quite widely. Not everywhere within the yellow warning zone is going to see these storms, but we're seeing severe storms break out on all four of these runs. Torrential rain, giving that 30 millimetres of rain in places. But at the moment, live radar, not seeing too much. So we'll just have to see what happens, as I said, over the next few hours. Now, if you're able to give the GFS run, again, we haven't looked at the mid to long range too much recently because we have been concentrating on the intense historic heat wave that we have just experienced. And we are coming down the other side now. So you can see low pressure is bumping into the UK at the moment. High pressure toppling back in towards Thursday and Friday. Turning things drier and we're in a generally cooler air mass, so it's not too bad in terms of temperatures back towards average, maybe slightly above average. But we do see a resurgence of southerly winds as low pressure approaches from the Atlantic through Saturday, Sunday and Monday. That could turn temperatures quite warm, as said, hot in the east, back towards high, uh, high 20s, low 30s. But in the west, low pressure running into that could see some very heavy torrential rain, as we saw on the UKV run. Again, we'll have to keep that up today over the next couple of days to see exactly how that precipitation does develop, because it could be really quite intense. Beyond that, as we do progress through, that low pressure does run through, so all layers will be going into a little bit more unsettled for a period of time. Full high pressure topples back in, and in the longer term, it turns warmer and drier, especially in the south. Low pressure closer to the north, so it could still be a little bit more unsettled there with some cooler conditions. But in the south, it could be quite warm and dry, and we could get back towards high 20s, maybe low 30s. Nothing exceptional at this stage. Anyone saying we're seeing a massive resurgence of heat back towards the high 30s or even mid 30s? We're not seeing support for that, but we are seeing support for mid to high 20s, potentially touching towards 30 degrees once again. And in the longer term, generally dry and high pressure dominated. So if you finish the video, by have a look at the latest from the ensembles. If we have a look at London ensembles, you can see we're around or around average over the next couple of days before we see a big spike in upper air temperatures by around Sunday, Monday, back towards 15, 16 degrees at 850 HPA, which is symbolic of around 30 to 32 degrees at the surface. Very short spike, only a day or two, so not going to last too long, but we could see some brief heat wave conditions there. Beyond that, we return to around or slightly below average for the last couple of days of July. And in the longer term, we're around or slightly above average, but nothing exceptional. Again, if we're going to see temperatures into the low to mid 30s, we need those upper air temperatures to get towards 18 to 20 degrees at 850 HPA, which we're not seeing from many runs apart from a couple outliers here or there. So no support for that. Again, 15, 16 degrees at 850 HPA, highly possible. We've seen quite a few runs go near or there, uh, or there or thereabouts, and that is low 30s or 30, 32 degrees. And we're seeing that through Sunday, maybe Monday. So not saying anything ridiculously hot, but still the potential for some more hot little spikes over the next couple of weeks, the potential for more brief heat wave like conditions. But for the majority of the time, it does look like it's going to be pretty pleasant, temperatures around or slightly above average, and pretty dry, especially in the south and east, quite minimal precipitation. But as we saw from the UKV, 
could be a different picture further northwards and westwards as ever, as ever this time of year. Low pressure trying to run in, so we could see repeated bouts of precipitation there. There will still be fair, fair, fair share of drier, warmer weather, but likely to see more precipitation in the north and west. I think a lot of people in the south and the east would hope that to be reversed for a little while, so we can see the gardens, uh, grass verges, trees, get a bit of watering out there, because we haven't seen a lot at the moment. So hopefully we do see some more persistent precipitation down in the southeast at times hopefully coming overnight so in the day it is dry but we'll just have to see what happens with that at the moment we're not seeing any massive persistent rain in the south and east over the next five days or so perhaps beyond that maybe if we do see low pressure weather fronts push in but of course we do have the risk of heavy thundery showers uh, as ever that could give us that heavier precipitation at times but it is going to be scattered of course if you do just finish by looking at the ECMWF ensembles, look at the midnight run. Again, very similar to the GFS. Uh, above average at the moment, return to around average in the next couple of days. Big spike to around 14, 15 degrees at 850 HPA towards Sunday and Monday. Or returning below average around the 28th to 30th of July. And then for the first couple of days of August, we are seeing a bit of a signal, especially from the ECMWF ensembles, to return things above average, back to potentially towards high 20s, maybe low 30s. And again, we have some outlier runs getting those temperatures back towards the mid 30s. But I have to take those with a pinch of salt at this stage. Nothing exceptional is on the cards for the next couple of weeks other than potentially low 30s, 30 to 32 degrees possible in the east and the south at times. But as I said, there will be the fair share of warmer, just generally drier, more towards average sort of conditions. So it does look like the weather is slowly just fizzling away in terms of any uh, major issues over the next couple of days. It does look like, yes, there'll be some... Intense thunderstorms around for some over the course of the evening, but still plenty will be in dry conditions. There's going to be quite a few showers again over the next few days, especially further westwards and northwards, especially towards Friday and Saturday. And just like we could see a little heat spike towards Sunday and Monday. But nothing like this is on the scale to what we have just experienced in terms of intensity of this heat wave we've just come out of. It's turning a lot more, uh, sort of, uh, a, a lot more back towards sort of what we'd expect in summer, which is thunderstorms some warmer weather at times and precipitation in the north and west that is generally what we do expect we're returning back towards more normal sorts of conditions uh, but there is still plenty to go on over the next few days so make sure you do stay tuned as there are still risks from thunderstorms more persistent rain through later this week and of course some hotter weather maybe in the weekend so anyway thanks for watching Hope you all stay safe over the course of the intense hot conditions yesterday. Hope everyone's going to get a better night's sleep tonight as we do have widely cooler conditions. Uh, and I hope uh, to see you again for another video soon.